So you can see here that I got a timeline and let's say I want to add some intervals. In order to do that, you can go on to the left right here and you can see that there's an option called block interval. So I can simply click and drag it over here. Let's say I want it in the period of between 4 and 11. Uh, 11. Uh, so I'm just going to drag it and you can see that you can set the start and the end date right here. So let's say the start date is somewhere in uh, between from 5 or 6. Let me just do 6 uh, August right here. And then the start date may be like for example uh, time and I'm not going to I'm going to leave time as it is. And the finish date is going to be something like around uh, let's say for example 12th um, August right here. So once I do that, you can see that there's the interval description. Let's say test interval right there and the date format. I'm just going to have it a bit different. Let's say for example, I'm going to display the name of the month itself and I'm going to press OK. So you can see that now the interval displays as 6 October to 12 October and it moves into place. So if I were to drag this around right here, you can see that now the, shape, uh, the date actually changes uh, with the time span that we defined right here. Just like that. Just drag it around and even if you are a bit off, it actually aligns it back to the place right here because it is snapped on to the timeline itself. And if I want to change the interval date and everything else, I can simply right click over here and then I can actually uh, change this. So I can go over here and configure the interval level or optionally you can go into, uh, you can actually go into the timeline right here, the timeline menu and you can see that you can select the shape and go to configure right here and you can make the changes as well. For example, if I want to change uh, the date right here, so I'm going to expand this out Let's say there's 11, let me do 15, press OK, and you can see that the timeline shape changes just like that. So that is how you can work with the intervals inside of Microsoft Visio. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.